More grace, everyone. My name is Mrs. Victoria Amefuna. I came from Anambra State, and I reside in Benin City here. Since three, four months ago, I have been observing bleeding. I bleed and bleed and bleed. The bleeding doesn't want to stop. And I went to the hospital. I saw my doctor. He asked me to go for a scan, and I went for a scan. The results came out, and they did not find out anything. The bleeding continues, and I keep on praying, thank, asking God to heal me, to set me free. So one day, my son, he has been coming to this divine grace. He called me, Mommy, why not come to the church and see the general overseer and complain this problem to him? So I said, okay. On Tuesday, I was here. I was thinking that I will see a doctor for a counseling. Then I was told that that Tuesday is for deliverance. That's okay, I am lucky then. Then let me draw you this opportunity to do the deliverance because I know that this is not ordinary. So I, uh, they asked me to go for my clearance, so of which I did so. So I entered inside the church. So one prayer started. As the prayer was going on with one pastor, I was dazzling. My eye was turning me. I'm restless. In fact, I can't be myself. One spirit, one mind came in. I should, I should run. I should go out of this church. Why should I come here? I said, you are a liar. I challenged that spirit. I said, you are a liar. This place is the final full stop. This is my final bus stop. I have come here for my deliverance, and I will receive my deliverance. So the prayer continue and continue and continue. As the prayer come to an end, you know, as I was going for my offering thanksgiving, the spirit said I should tell the general overseer that I have been bleeding, the spirit that inside me said that this woman has been bleeding for three, four months, you know, and he lays his hand on my head and on my tummy and said, you are healed in Jesus' name, and I claim it. I went home. So on Thursday, he asked us to come with our fitting clothes. I was here with my fitting clothes, and I was opportune to get the anointing oil. So as the prayer was going on, he asked us to open the anointing oil and we should drink half of it, of which I did so. I did so, as I drink it, the, my stomach started to turn me, started to turn me, I was, you know, restless. I, I wanted to shout. A, a brother and a sister that is very close to me said, Mother, um, sister, what is the problem? I said, my stomach is turning me. I don't know. I want to shout. Please go and call one pastor for me. Call one pastor for me. Nobody answered me. Before you know it, and one Asha came around and said, Mother, what is the problem? I said, my stomach is turning me. I don't know. I don't know what is doing me. So I manage. I bear it. I manage to go for my Thanksgiving and General Overseer laid hand on me again and prayed that, Madam, you are healed in Jesus' name. I, I claimed amen. I went home. Behold, my brethren, as I'm standing here in your presence, since that on Thursday till now, the blood dried off. Can you join your hands together for Jesus? Celebrate Jesus. This is the Lord's doing and not man. If you know you have hands with you, celebrate Jesus one more time. If you know you had what I just had this morning, you are sitting down and celebrating Jesus, put your hands together beautifully for Jesus Christ. This is not the work of man, it is the work of God. You may be seated in God's presence. Thank you. Mother, can you please just tell us for how long were you experiencing this bleeding since June this year since June this year you have been experiencing this problem yes I went to a hospital I was uh, you know they asked me to they have been giving me injection morning evening morning evening for seven days and drugs still none are there no results 
Nothing to write home about. You have applied so many similitudes and you have visited the hospital yes. for checkup and I still the doctors could not profound the solution to your problem. Yeah, no, yes. I even did scan. No nothing to there's nothing in the, the scan result to show that this is what is wrong with me. I keep on bleeding and bleeding and bleeding and bleeding. Tell Every us day. after you minister the an vitri anointing oil. After you, you attended the deliverance and you ministered the victory anointing oil, oh yeah. tell us your experience after then. When I drank the anointing oil, I started, you know, my stomach started turning me inside this church that on Thursday. I was trying to scream. I, was, I wanted to shout. And I asked them to, my neighbor sitting behind me to go and call a pastor that I don't know what is wrong with me. I wanted to scream, to shout. But there is nobody listening to me. So you mean after you ministered virtual anointing all year, you were touched by Jesus Christ instantly? Yes. And it, right now, you don't experience that flow of blood anymore? Yes. That bleeding is no more there. Yes. Can you celebrate Jesus this morning? The bleeding ended after ministry, the victory anointing oil that Jesus Christ led the man of God, Pastor P.I. Obaseki, to bring to this ministry for victory, for solution, for all of God's blessings. Can we celebrate Jesus one more time? Mother, can you please give us your advice this morning? Advise all those who are going through one predicament or the other. My advice to my brothers and sisters sitting here in the presence of the church, I want you to have faith. Trust in God. There is no affliction, infirmities, disease that Jesus cannot heal. He is the master healer. Only put your trust in him and he will set you free. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.